Solony, a coming of age story. Before I begin and talk about this series, I just want to state real quick, this video is not really going to contain any spoilers. I'm just going to give you all my thoughts, my impressions, my outlook on this series, and what it really gave to me as a reader of this manga. And so, I'm not really going to spoil enough, and I'm pretty much just going to be doing a recommendation with this video. So, anyways, just right off the bat, Solony. This is my first time ever reading the works from this mangaka. I have never read any works from this mangaka, and this was the first time I ever did. And it clearly shines. It really does. And it actually makes me interested in actually reading some of the other works that this author has written. Because this work of art right here, this is really a work of art, it tells a very realistic story. Very, very realistic story. Like, it hits you so close to home. And it's not just the feels, it's literally how realistic and how relatable the characters are. Like, the main concepts of the story is how the characters come of age, and how the characters deal with getting fresh out of college and what they want to do with their life. Like, what path should they choose for their life? And for instance, you have a bunch of these characters that do not know which direction they want to take, and they are kind of upset with themselves because they feel like they're useless, they can't fit into society, and they don't belong in this world. That's pretty much the main characters. And the thing is, with Solanine, is that the characters are so relatable because of the hardships and difficulties that the characters encounter are so similar to things that really happen today. Like, a lot of these problems in this series was relatable to me. For instance, choosing your path of what you want to do, your happiness. What path of happiness do you want to choose? Do you want to live a path that is safe, but not very rewarding? For instance, you don't feel fulfilled as a human being? Or do you want to choose a path that is not safe, very risky, but will give you great rewards and allow you to have passion for what you do? That's pretty much what this story is, and it really relates a lot to what even I'm doing right now. For instance, expressing my passion with all of you about anime and manga. And this really, really hit me, because the, the hardships these characters go through are something so similar to so many people, not just to me, that it is ridiculous. It is a real work of art series, and... One thing I will say that really stood out too when it came to the series was the unique choice of art style. The art style of the series looks really damn nice. Like, art is subjective of course, but I mean it looks really good. Like, seriously, like the panels like these, panels like that just look so brilliant. It does. And the mangaka of this series did a damn good job with the story. Now, if you're wondering, is there a part two to this? Is this the full series? Yes. There is only one volume you can buy called Solanine, and it's the entire series. This is the entirety. And I truly recommend this. If you want a coming-of-age story that's very realistic and takes place after college, like in the middle of college, after college, it's a slice of life with romance, hardships, and difficulties, and a little bit of tragedy, you most likely will like this series. I straight up recommend this series, but like I said, this is a mature story, so the only way to truly appreciate this series to the T and to the letter is by actually experiencing some of these hardships, and that is what I really think that makes this series so grand in my eyes. If you have never experienced some of these hardships that Solanine tries to go and talk about, you, you most likely will not think this series is good, and so for the most part, for me, I would rate this series 8.5 out of 10. It was just straight up good. And the thing is, at the end of the day, what even the mangaka, the actual author of the series wrote, like, I want to actually read the afterword of what the author said about the series. I want to say it word for word, quote for quote, for what the author said about the series. I drew Solanine when I was about 24 years old. I had just graduated from college and was feeling a bit insecure about my ability to succeed as a manga artist and whether I would be able to continue to draw manga that were true to myself. In my anxiety and impatience, I felt that all I could do in my manga was try to get a true depiction of the times experienced by my generation. Lovers, friends, money, jobs, a society with an unclear future, one's own pride. Withering in these multiple, entangling factors, perhaps they are unable to draw any conclusions. Perhaps this instant now is just a small part of their futile daily lives. The only thing that is certain is that they can never return to the days gone by. 
There's nothing cool about these characters, they're just your average 20-somethings who blend into the backdrop of the city. But the most important message in our lives don't come through the musicians on stage or stars on television. They come from the average people around you, the ones who are just feet from where you stand. That's what I believe. Powerful words by the mangaka. Pretty much this, this work of art right here, was made by the actual depictions of the mangaka's life. What he had to go through, what people of his generation had to go through. And this is realistic. So, I guess it's going to conclude my first impressions, impressions, and review, and recommendation of Solanine. Thank you so much, Sun Wukong, for sending me this yesterday. This was just straight up fucking nice. I love it a lot. And I'm definitely going to try to read more works from this author because the art style is really unique. I love the writing, very mature, and it definitely hits close to home. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.